Okay, you too. This video is going to be me attempting to make <clears throat> my own pressure bleeder from this Hawaiian punch jug. I'm hoping that this uh, jug will actually be strong enough to serve as a pressure vessel to uh, hold up to about 30 pounds of air pressure so that we can use it to power bleed our brakes. And I have some tubeless tire valves that I plan on using it to aid in this project. I plan to seat one of these in this cap so that we can pressurize the bottle by putting the cap on it and putting a tire pump on it from there. If all goes well, this thing will hold that 30 PSI both in the cap and the overall body. Hopefully it won't pop itself out. I was going to use an apple juice one but I realized these dents were smaller on this jug so I think this jug might work a little better. Once I'm sure that I have a pressure vessel that will work well, I plan to uh, go forward with the rest of the project and make the hose and the cap for the reservoir, which that portion is going to be a lot easier. The biggest thing here is finding a pressure vessel that is somewhere between free and cheap, this being free. All right, so got these cheap valve stems from the parts store, <clears throat> and the package says 0.453 inch rim hole. So I think that means I'm going to need to drill about a half inch hole in this lid. So I'm going to need to get my drill and a half inch drill bit, perform some uh, putting a hole in his lid surgery. It's going to be pretty interesting. It appears that I'll have enough space on the opposite side to put the tube and everything because it's going to need a tube to go all the way to the bottom of the jug. So, all right, I'm going to get the drill. All right, we've got my trusty DeWalt drill here. drill bits. This box should have a suitable drill bit in it. The rod just being a half inch. So it's about as big as this hole will be able to get. Need to open the chuck pretty well to get that in there. Okay. I need to safely hold this. So I'm going to use the vise over here. Hopefully I don't screw up this cap because I don't have to wait until my kids drink another gallon of who knows what to get a new cap. Okay, it wasn't easy, but we put a half inch diameter hole in this lid. Now, we need to seat this thing. So, well, these uh, cable crimpers look like they might help serve in this project. Oh, yeah, like a pro. So, we have a lid with a firmly seated valve stem in it that just barely screws back on. If you get it too close to the edge, it's not going to screw on because this portion needs to go between there. So keep that in mind. 
I used a very scientific uh, method to figure that out. Now, I need my tire pump. Alright, I have my uh, little Schwinn bicycle pump here. Let's put 30 PSI in this thing and see what happens. I know it would be better if you could see the gauge, but you can't. Sorry. Um, some portions of the plastic are bulging already. And we're only about 5 PSI. Uh, you definitely want to have your safety classes on. Anytime you're pressurizing something on. Drilling stuff for that matter. Um, so now it's pushing the label itself off of this thing. It's starting to look like this might not work. We are over 20 PSI and most of the sounds that you're hearing are either the plastic expanding back to its what was probably its original shape and mostly just the uh, label on the front breaking. We're trying to put about the same amount of pressure as a as a bicycle tire in this thing. Well, at this point we have a leak. It was leaking at the cap. I tightened it and it stopped leaking. So you can see it's made itself completely round again. But it is holding over 20 PSI right now. So I guess I'm going to pump it all the way up to 30, maybe even 40, and just leave it to see what will happen. I might need to do some research as to whether or not brake fluid can decompose this plastic at all. If it can, then this definitely is not going to work for this kind of pressure. And I can tell what kind of plastic it is by the recycling number on the bottom, so I can look that up on the internet pretty easily. Let's give it some more pressure. Alright, it is right at 30 pounds right now. The thing really is as hard as a bicycle tire. We have a little leak, and I guess it's where the valve stem is seated. It is. I might need to knock the valve stem back through the cap. Hard as a rock, that's for sure. Well, it's an interesting concept. We'll see if it holds pressure. I don't think it will because I can hear it leaking right here. Well, I guess we'll see. I'll, uh,
There you go.